Good morning and welcome back to It's a New Day. I'm Kim Kennedy. And uh, folks, it's our favorite part of the day. Thursday morning has quickly become that. I am joined with El Locke and Art Cardos for the all-in session, folks. Are you all in? Man, I'm all in, Kim. Are you all in? I, yes. What's the, what's the alternative? All out? <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're not all in, you must be all out. And, uh, you know, if you don't mind, let's start with a prayer. Can yeah. we do that Amen. today? Please. So I want to pray for our audience and anyone listening or thinking about listening, and you don't even know we're praying for you. But, Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have gone before us to make the crooked way straight. We thank you, Lord, that you have assigned your ministering angels to the whole area and over this radio station and the waves that it goes. We thank you, Lord, that you are touching, blessing, and opening the eyes and ears of people who are listening and that prosperity in every area of their life is coming upon them. In Jesus' name, amen. I always, I always feel better after we say a prayer because then I know, you know, at least we're tuning up here. We're tuning right. the forks, right? And uh, Art, you always want me to uh, encourage listeners to call in, so... Go ahead. How, how do we do that? 877-667-1180. Yes. How can you mess up? It's This is 1180 AM. It's 877-667-1180. A, uh, to call in and and we will we'll take calls and then if someone's listening right now and and you've heard the last hour and I heard the last hour there's a lot of things to talk about think about and if you have questions on how you can prepare spiritually so that you don't start living in fear of things happening to you we'd like to address that on this program and another thing people can do Kim is they can text the words all in to 72727 and they'll get a response back um, saying that they can listen uh, a link they can click to listen live wherever they are in a car or anywhere else so if someone's listening and you think you know someone the Lord's telling you to let them know to tune in now would be the time to make that text happen because they can click on it i don't care if they're in california last week we had somebody from florida wow. and uh you know i hope you're still listening down there in florida i hope the weather is nice and uh but we want to talk today about not living in fear but living by faith mm. so um you know kim when you meet people and after that last conversation there's every reason to live in fear, isn't there? Because yeah. if Christians don't know who they are, then how can, if you don't know your rights as a citizen of heaven, if you don't know that God wants you to be safe, wants you to prosper, he wants you to to be protected at all times, if you don't know that, the exact same do people scenario. So obviously faith, Right, Which I say, really okay, okay you have the word fear, F-E-A-R, right? Uh, here's what I call it. <laughs> false and, um, evidence appearing real. Okay? So false evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. Now, people do walk through life trembling. Okay, whether it's financial, spiritual, health-wise, or now what you guys were discussing with churches, is are people even going to be afraid to attend a church service because of, of the fear factor. Well, isn't that just like the enemy, Satan? You know, he's the enemy. He's like, oh, all right, you got to talk about Satan. Hey, listen, guys, there's a real opposition out there. His name's Lucifer. We call him Satan. And I'll tell you what, he is on his last legs. He's desperate. And he's resulted to the, re, re, reverted to this kind of tactics where he's trying to get fear in everywhere. When you live in fear, First of all, you release a lot of toxins in your body, your mind, and your thoughts. Fear-based thoughts cause dis-ease within the body. Mm -hmm. We are built and we are designed to live by faith. Faith releases positive all, all the positive feelings within the body. You, you know, I tried an experiment once, and, you know, if you ever have a moment, you want to do this, you know, put a smile on your face. And, and I mean, put a big smile. I don't, even if you're having a lousy day, go look in the mirror and smile. What it does is causes a positive body chemistry. Now, if you really want to have fun with this, put a big smile on your face and then go yell at somebody. <laughs> 
<laughs> so so what does that mean? So I mean, keep smiling while you're yelling. Now, if if like like for instance, Kim, I don't know how you get through the day. I don't know what you're doing. And but see, I have a smile on my face. So now. People are confused because there's a positive body chemistry, but you're saying things that perhaps aren't nice. So we know that positive body chemistry is easily detected. Al, uh, I mean, Al, Al and Art, I, you guys probably know this, but uh, the, um, in sales you're taught uh, when, you, when you talk on the phone or in person, you, or even on the, what we're doing right now, when you smile, the tone of your voice changes automatically. It really makes a difference. Totally. And, and, but it's not the words you're saying. We say it's the music you're playing. Mm, I like that. Okay, so when you talk to someone, the music of their body, faith or fear, faith or fear, which is it? So faith conquers fear. Fear freezes your life. If you're living in fear, you're afraid to invest. You're afraid to uh, go to church. You're afraid to go here. You're afraid to go. It's just much safer to stay home, which we all know you can get in as much trouble at home as you can anywhere else, okay? F but faith thaws it out. So fear freezes your life. Faith thaws it out. Now, how do we implement that? And based on what the last you know, hour of your programming was here, whether it's financial, being afraid to invest or afraid to move forward, are we consulting with the Lord? Are we using his word? What does his word say about that? First of all, Psalm 91. It's time to invoke Psalm 91 over your life, your family's life, your children, everywhere. And what is that? Okay. Are you gonna, Art, are you going to share that with us? Sure. You, what, Psalm 91? Yes, we're curious now. What well, let, let, me, let me go through it as quickly as All I can. Right. But I think, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, first of all, if you're abiding under somebody's shadow, you're pretty darn close to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can't think of a better place to abide than right next to or under the shadow of Almighty God. Um uh, he, uh, so he who dwells in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. In him I do trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from his perilous pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I shall take refuge. His truth is my shield and my buckler, and I shall not be afraid of the terror that comes by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand might fall at my side, ten thousand at my right, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked, for I have made the Lord God, even the Most High, my habitation. Therefore no evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling, for God has given his angels charge over me that they should bear me up in their hands lest I dash my foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. I shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent I will trample underfoot. And then it goes on and, and it's got a little bit more there. But so here's the point. Is God real? Are you making him real in your life? Is his word something you read on Sunday when you go to church and then forget it on Monday? Or do you put it into your heart? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, right there where it said a thousand might fall at my side, ten thousand at my right. Here's another way to say that. A thousand might get the flu at my side, ten thousand at my right, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked, for I have made the Lord God. A thousand might get be in fear in church, or ten thousand, but not around me. So, when you begin to invoke it, into your life. And of course, it starts by reading it. Now, I didn't read that out of the Bible when I just went through it, because that's in my heart. And I have rehearsed it enough times that it goes from your head to your heart. It takes about 90 days to read something over and over, mm -hmm. and it will drop from your head to your heart. What's the difference between your head and your heart? When, it, when you read it from your logical head, it sounds good. But when it drops into your heart, all of a sudden, it is real. Mm -hmm. God figured out a way in his wonderful, wonderful plan to get the power into the earth so we could take it and transform ourselves. So back to what I originally said. 
if living in fear is releasing toxins and poisons and things into our bodies, what is living in faith? And there's a, a, a well-known uh, neurologist out there, new, neurological scientist out there, uh, Dr. Caroline Leaf, who has just proven, uh, and she's proven it over and over and over again uh, with kids testing. She is uh, from South Africa. She's a wonderful person. You can Google it. You'll find her. And what she is saying is that she has proven that living by the principles that Jesus taught causes your brain and your body to release positive toxins, pos- not toxins, positive, uh, uh, more, all kinds of endorphins and things that are causing the body to live in peace and joy and causing it to replenish itself. So the opposite is fear, faith, fear, faith, fear. So today in your life, if you're listening to this program, what are you living by? Are you living by fear or faith? And we're going to talk more about that, right, Kim? We'll be right back after the break, folks. Please stay with us. You're listening to All In with Art Cardos. It's about war. It's about peace. It's about changing history. It's about you. It's about me. It's about time. in your community? Do you want to meet that need but don't know exactly how to start? In Faith enables people like you to reach their local communities and make a ministry idea become a reality. Act on the dream that God has given you. Contact us at hello at infaith.org to reach local and change lives. And watch our videos online today at infaith.org to see other people who are making a difference in your local community. It's time for us to do something. Veterans of all ages, active duty military and military families, please join us for the Free Veterans Expo and Job Fair from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, November 13th at Spooky Milk Sports in Mannheim. The Veterans Expo connects active and retired military members and their families with the benefits and resources available to them through local community service providers, health care professionals, VA benefit counselors, VFWs, American Legions, and area businesses. At the Job Fair, veterans and employers can meet face-to-face to discuss available positions. Veterans are encouraged to have their resume reviewed by a career coach and global career development facilitator and to have their free headshot taken by a professional photographer. Join WFYL with disabled American veterans, Pennsylvania American Legion, Pennsylvania State Headquarters VFW, and many more. For more information on the Veterans Expo and Job Fair, call 717-285-1350 or visit veteransexpo.com. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts. Don't miss this limited time offer. We're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. Call 800-393-6272. That's 800-393-6272. For us to stop and start again It's about time, it's about space It's about saving the human race It's about hate, it's about love It's about everything but It's about war, it's about peace It's about changing history It's about you, it's about me It's about time Good morning and welcome back to It's a New Day it is the all-in segment with Art Cardos, and uh, Art, you're shaking it up as usual. We encourage you folks to call in, 877-667-1180. Locally, you can call us at 610-539-TALK, that's 610-539-8255. Art, you're taking prayer requests, aren't you? Taking prayer requests, <clears throat> and also you can text in uh, the words all-in to 72727. And that's made possible through our mobile marketing, our friend there who put that together. So if you want somebody to hear, um, you know, uh, this program and you have to leave your house and you're going to be in your car, or you're going to be different places, it's a way to get the live link, click on it. And, uh, and yes, we're taking prayer requests. Now, here's the thing. The th- don't settle for what it is you've been told in your brain <clears throat> uh, you have to settle for. Well, you know... You know, if I was younger, if I was stronger, if I was 
um, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Satan has a lie to tell everybody. And if you want to listen to the lies, here's what the truth says. The truth says that God wants you to prosper. Let me ask you a question. Are you a parent? Do you want your children to prosper? Or would you say, listen, it'd be really great if, I, if a disease came on them because they'd learn something from that. I've, you know, we have to get rid of this thinking that God arranged for people to hurt and be in pain because they're going to learn something. Yes, we will go through suffering in life, but we need to do it with an attitude of conquering it, not being defeated by it. You know, I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And though the mountains tumble into the sea and the earth be done away, still will I not fear. So, back to what we were saying, if you don't mind, Kim. Uh, I wanted to pick up on Psalm 91 because part of the psalm says that angels will make it possible that we don't even dash our foot against a stone. Do you know you have an angel and they're assigned armies, legions of angels are assigned. Now, there was a time on the earth where they couldn't come down legally. Okay, and they had to use Jacob's ladder. It was the only way to get up and down, okay? But since Jesus defeated the enemy, and he defeated him royally, in case you don't know how he defeated him, it was in the pit of hell where Satan thought he had Jesus cornered. He figured, we got God. We're taking, he, he marched him in, in front of the whole congregation, it says, okay? And he wanted to make an open display of how he was defeating God. When he had something occur that he didn't calculate. And that is a Jesus defeated every sickness, every disease, every demon. In front of their, them, he defeated their leader, Lucifer, and then rose out of the pit of hell, shattering forever the gates of hell. Okay, so what we need to understand is that Jesus came not just so we have a story and a Christmas time. He came that we could have life and have it more abundantly, no matter what that means in our own situation. So if you're listening to this, I, don't, I mean, you need to identify where you're being lied to by the enemy. Whether it's, well, you can't expect God to pay that bill. You can't expect God to do this or do that. And, and we were t earlier in the program, you're we talking about finances and all these different things. There are two systems in the world. We have to, I have to identify them. One is the free enterprise system, but it also comes under what we call the Babylonian system of free enterprise business and how we operate. But then there's also God's system, who is not bound by our system in the earth. So in the, in the face of things going wrong, by faith, God can still get to you whatever you need. I think that's where we have to come to. Mm. You know, thinking in terms of, okay, I see that I can't pay this bill. I see that this is a problem. I see that. I see it. It's real. I see it. I'm banging the microphone. And, okay, and, but, but on top of all that, I have given. And it is given unto me, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, flowing over shall men bring unto my bosom. So, you know, according to Philippians 4.19, you know, where God says that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches. And that's not, his riches aren't limited to the earth's riches. Now, he did make the earth and he made it to take care of us. However, in spite of it, he will get it to us. So I guess we need to talk about how do we begin to implement that today so that someone listening to this and, and you know if you want to talk about a particular thing or have us pray with you on it please call in I know the number is 877-667-1180 and and at the same time what we want to do is talk about how you can today begin a process of believing for something and agreeing for something that will turn your situation around. I could tell you stories all day long about mine. See, if something comes on us, whether it's a sickness, let's take a sickness, and I'll, I'll get personal for a second. Okay, when my son was four years old, we went to Disney, and he got bit by a mosquito down there, and we came back, and all of a sudden he wasn't functioning properly. Okay, and uh, found out he had encephalitis of the brain. Well, that's a swelling of the brain, and uh, in a lot of cases, there's, uh, they become hopeless. 
and they and, and I know a lot of people have died and and at the same time uh, never are right after that okay well I refuse that I'm sorry I have not and I had one doctor come in say you ain't gonna make it you're not gonna make it okay fired that doctor so please don't ever come back in here again okay you are not allowed in this room you don't speak words in this room, anything like that. So what we did is got rid of every single person who did not agree that, and I didn't care who they were. I mean, the head of the floor was fired from my room. They could not come in there because of the words that came out of their mouth. I lived in that room. I prayed in that room, and I decreed victory over him. And the Lord told me exactly when he would be change transform and that was at four years old happy to say he's 23 and 24 i'll be almost 24 years old and uh got two degrees from penn state no ramifications yes he had to relearn to walk do different things but i could tell the second that god's word came in and i had one really nice christian friend of mine now as a friend uh call up you know i had just got done praying i took god's word and i said man by his stripes we are healed and blah blah, blah. man i'm praying away and i know there's no nothing in my mind that allowed for any any outcome other than success and the phone rang and I happened to pick it up and it was this nice woman on the phone and she goes oh how is your son doing and I, poor lady, I blasted her and said, no, oh, he's healed by the stripes of Jesus. I mean, I just went on the word of God, and we became good friends after that. But you see, you're either all in or you're all out. And if you're not all in, there's something special that happens about being all in. And when you're all in, God's, there's no alternative other than God's word working. There's no alternative. So, you know, we have no choice either. To, if we're going to pray and you really want to see a result, I mean, really, not just kidding yourself. Well, you know, I'll pray and then I don't know what God's going to do. But, you know, at the same time, we have to think in terms of the fact that if we're not all in, if we're not taking full authority over it, uh, then, you know, we are missing the boat. And, uh, do we uh, Art, we have a caller on the line, Scott from Allentown. Scott, are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, Scott. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Uh, I'm really enjoying your show, Art. And, uh, you know, I love you talking about Psalm 91 because you know my physical struggles that I've been going through. And, and Psalm 91 is such an encouragement to me. Well, uh, Psalm 91 uh, is something we have to live by in this day and age, don't we, Scott? I mean, everywhere we go, there's an opportunity to fear something. Absolutely. Yeah. Is and you know, you were talking about hell, and I heard a pastor the other day saying, I asked God, what is so, what is so uh, uh, bad about hell? Is it the darkness? Is it the fire? And he told me, it's the separation from me. That'll be the worst part of hell. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, you know, separating from God, is, you know, is uh, is not a good idea at all. I'm going to talk more about that. We're, we have to go to break. Can you hold on? Sure, All right, all right Scott, thank you. Uh, we'll be right back, folks, right after this break. Farther from the truth, without a star to lead us, we're all lost. Dancing with the devil, never looking at the clock. There'll be hell to pay. On the day the music stops, it's about time, it's about space, it's about saving the human race, it's about hate, it's about love, it's about everything above, it's about war, it's about peace. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. Right-wing Republicans joined as the Freedom Caucus, agreed to support Wisconsin Congressman Paul Ryan for Speaker of the House, but not unanimously. Fox's Chad Pergram. Some don't like his positions on immigration. Some don't think that he is as committed to reforming the House of Representatives to their liking. That's something that they do like about Dan Webster, the Republican congressman from Florida. So it remains to be seen what will happen. They're going to support Paul Ryan, but not on his terms. Ryan, though, has enough support to be speaker if he wants it. The New York Mets win the National League pennant, beating the Chicago Cubs 8-3 to finish a four-game sweep. Series MVP Daniel Murphy has hit home runs in a record six straight playoff games. I wish I could explain it, but sometimes the blessings just flow. The Mets will play the Royals or Blue Jays in the World Series. The Royals lead the American League Championship Series three games to two. Game six is tonight. 
Fox News. We report. You decide. Being considerate and generous towards the needs of others is important to God. From Scripture, we know that God loves a cheerful giver. Hi, I'm Doug Floro, President and Certified Financial Planner at MFB Wealth Management. Blessing others can be a great motivation for us to consistently save and invest. Over the years, I have worked with many believers like you to help them develop a plan that allows them to give generously, save responsibly, and spend wisely. For solid biblical financial planning, call MFB Wealth Management at 215-723-8999. MFB stands for My Father's Business from Luke 2.49 when Jesus said, I must be about my father's business. MFB Wealth Management, 215-723-8999. Also on the web at mfbwm.com. Securities and advisory services offered through Genius Wealth Management, member FINRA, SIPC. Hi, I'm Scott Newcomer with Christian Businessmen's Connection, CBMC. Are you a Christian businessman? Do you feel like an ambassador in your workplace? In 2 Corinthians 5.20, the Apostle Paul tells us that Christ followers are ambassadors for Christ. So do you feel like one? Do you know how to walk like one? If you'd like to learn more about how to be a marketplace ambassador, walking daily in intimacy with God, how to be discipled or disciple others, how to share your faith simply in the marketplace, how to apply biblical principles to your life, and how to have a group of like-minded Christian businessmen around you to encourage you, basically to be the man God designed you to be, right where you work, right where God has you, contact us at CBMC and get connected. Just go to cbmc.com or call me, Scott Newcomer, at 610-304-1493. That's 610-304-1493. So when you get to the corner of Smith and Orchard, you're going to want to take You are not going to believe this. Then what you're going to do is turn to see if the just broke up and go past and the first three she's lights happy and about then take it. the next left. I don't really think she's happy, but you should be who there. am I to judge, right? Park anyway, on the right. That's I'll what I heard last tonight. night. It's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Without God, liberty will not last. A quote from Thomas Jefferson. It's about time. It's about space. It's about saving the human race. It's about hate. It's about love. It's about everything. It's about war. It's about peace. It's about changing history. It's about you. It's about me. It's about time. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to It's a New Day. I'm Kim Kennedy here with Al Locke and Art Cardos with All In. Every uh, Thursday, Art, at 8, it's All In, and uh, you're talking with Scott. Yes, Scott, are you still there? Yes, I am, Art. Hey, excellent. Uh, Could you tell us a little bit about what you've been battling? Because I know that you are a man of faith, as we have talked, and uh, you have used God's Word consistently in your life. Could you give us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, yeah, I was forced into retirement because of my peripheral neuropathy that I've had. It's hereditary, and a hereditary issue, and I've had it for 11 years. And uh, at times it really gives me some, some awful, terrible trials. But my faith uh, has grown stronger through these challenges rather than uh, weaker. And it's, uh, it's through the trials, I believe, that God puts us through and allows us to go through. Uh, that helps us to grow in our faith, and that, that's what he wants to see in us. If we had easy times all the time, we wouldn't learn anything, and we wouldn't do any growing. So when it comes to uh, the good fight of faith, do you get mad? Do you get mad back at the enemy? Do you get mad at God? How do you handle that? Well, sometimes I find myself in the shower shouting, shouting to myself, greater is he that is in me than he is in the world. And Satan, get behind me, because you have no part in my life the life of my family or my children. Now, I know you've gone through a lot with this, and you are coming out of it. You are coming through it. And recently, you have seen even signs that that is all getting behind you. Absolutely, yeah. I've been on a a terribly addictive drug for uh, six years, and I walked away from that when they told me I'd never be able to get off of it, a fentanyl patch. And 
it's just so many challenges, and God is working in my life all the time, and he's working in everyone else's life, whether they know it or not. They may not see the results that they want to see sometimes, but uh, he's definitely, as long as they ask him to and put, to put it in prayer, he's, he starts right away in doing something. Well, and you mentioned prayer. So how important, Scott, is prayer and agreement with other people in prayer towards this fight? Well, it's, it's so important. We're two or more gathered. There he will be also, and uh, that's the answer. I mean, you're not going to get an answer if you don't talk to someone, and he's our father, so if we talk to him on a regular basis, uh, he will hear our prayers, and he will answer from heaven, and that's his promise to us. Well, I want to have a prayer with you before we leave, but I just want to also say you also are involved in a prison ministry, aren't you? Yes, Yoke Fellow Prison Ministry here in the Lehigh Valley. Uh, it's a wonderful prison uh, ministry, and we go into Lehigh County. Uh, I go in uh, every Friday, and there's people going all week long. There's spiritual uh, mentors that go in and, and pray with guys one-on-one. We do a Bible study every Friday night, and it's, you get so close to those guys. And I try to, to bring the Word of God in there, and, and God uses us uh, to, to do His teaching and, and change these guys' hearts and minds so that they don't return to prison. The recidivism rate is, is up around 70%, and, and we need to change that. And, uh, and it is slowly coming down, so it's only by, by God's hand that that will happen. And just a final question there. Do you find these people, these guys, uh, eager to listen to you, or do they fight you off? Or what? I mean, how, does that, how do they receive the Word of God? Well, uh, a lot of them uh, already know. They've been in church at once or twice with their grandmother, or, or they used to go to Catholic church, or whatever it was. So a lot of these guys are so smart, you wonder how in the world they even got in there. But uh, they're bright guys, and they evaluate you when you come in. And once they learn to trust you, that's when you can reach them. One of, one of the thoughts I have on that is that God, uh, some of these guys have callings on their lives, and that Satan knows that, and he's put assignments on them. They don't know how they got there. They just followed the path of least resistance, and it's unfortunate. But let's have a quick prayer, Scott. You know, I'm going to pray for you. Father, we thank you right now that you are blessing Scott right where he is. And we thank you, Lord, that your word has final authority, and we agree in Jesus' name that a miracle and miracles are consistently happening in his life. And we thank you, Lord, for total victory, total victory today and every day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks for calling in. You bet. You know, whether uh, you're sitting there fearing your disease or turning it into faith, it makes all the difference, life or death. Now, we, we, we all talk about real challenges, but we turn them. We turn them. We turn them into life. Jesus came that we could have life. He gave his life so you could walk around in victory. Are you walking around in victory, or are you walking around broke, busted, sick, and disgusted? You know, which is it? Are you like, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's just my lot in life. You know, I grew up on the wrong side of town. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Sit down, they'll rock the boat. No, get up and rock the boat. And rock it with Jesus, man, because he's, his word is final. And I, if there's any message that I hope comes across you know, from me being a part of this wonderful radio station, it is that God's word is final authority if you will make it final authority and become all in. You know, and, and one of the things that I always hear from people, well, how do you know that every word in the Bible is true? You ever hear that one, Kim? A few times, yeah. yeah. Well, how do you answer that? I mean, okay, how do you know? Well, you know, men wrote that Bible. You know, how can it be all true? Oh, cut me a break. Where are you coming from? Get a life. The God who created the universe, the God who made the earth the same distance from the sun so you don't incinerate and gave you an earth suit so that you could function every day, he calculated the errors be way before it was written and all of the errors being calculated we have such a wise wisdom filled god creator that he know it came out and was written exactly the way he planned there's a and, lot of evidence out there isn't there oh uh, the evidence is indisputable if you're someone sitting out there still and you're on the fence and you don't know you need to call me because i'll tell you i need to talk to you i mean if you're not sure there's a a creator out there who created the universe oh 
come on. Do you just think everything just you know showed up one day and every you know look we even have interchangeable parts these days you know I mean people are donating their organs and they, 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 we have ways to put them in and out and come on you know if 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 it was all just an accident there we know two things alike and and that's just the way it is so. All you wonderful people out there that are the scientists of the world, go listen to Dr. Caroline Leaf. Look her up online. She is proven. You know what she did? She took brain-damaged children, Kim, kids that the, the world would say could never be repaired or restored, mm. okay? And, and they were in accidents or something, and part of their brain was damaged, and, and they couldn't even get back to kindergarten level. She took those kids. She took not one, not two, not a thousand thousands and thousands at this point and has re has shown them a system that she has with the word of god that has brought them back not only That's to amazing. school not only to high school but through college wow. and the they have learned how to regrow in their brains okay the different parts that are necessary there's so much of the brain that's not used and by the way the brain is not your mind you know if your brain's not functioning and you're still in the body your mind is in full capacity wow. it's sitting above the brain matter of fact they used to call that like the subconscious mind but really it's a super conscious and it sits in a super position above the brain and it is all alert and remembers everything and even when people have Alzheimer's it's the brain that's got the problem not the mind wow. and and we I have scripture to back that up but well Art, can I interrupt you yeah, well, sure. somebody might want to call do you want to give them the number oh give them the number 877-667-1180 and uh, we'd love to hear from you if you're someone out there that just like to talk about it. We won't blast you, but we will pray with you. And we will expect with you that God is going to turn it around. How do I know that? And that's the question I'd like to bring up while we're waiting for that next call. Okay, do you believe God wants you to prosper? Do you believe that God wants you to be healed? Do you believe that God wants you to pay your bills on time? Do you believe that God wants you to find the right spouse? Do you believe? What do you believe? Mm. Because if you don't believe that, then what's the opposite? Oh, God doesn't want me to prosper. God doesn't want me healthy. Well, what kind of God is that? Mm -hmm. You know, that wouldn't be the God that we serve. So you, what you've got here is a little confusion, and it, it's easily happened over the years because people... We've been fed a lot of different stories over the years, okay? But we were talking the other day um, about the Moravians. You were talking about how the Moravians had such a ministry where they just came, you know. They just prayed. Art, they prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. They prayed. And, and I'm, I, I did a, a program on TV a few years ago with the Moravian Church in Bethlehem. And one of the, one of the stories they told me, which I found incredibly fascinating, they, they were not afraid of guns, arrows, uh, anything, okay? The Indians were on top of 378 and ready to attack the church one day, okay? And they were having services. They were all in there for services, and they looked up, and they saw all these Indians on their horses, and they thought, what should we do? Let's run. No, they didn't do that. These are, these are rooted people in prayer, okay? Let's hide under the bench. No, they didn't do that. What did they do? They went to the roof. <laughs> they went to the roof of the church it was a flat roof and they sent all the musician, musicians up there and they began to play pre, uh, play praise songs and began to praise God from the roof well, well I don't know if the Indians never heard that before never heard a trumpet before never heard music before but they took one look at that and said well no part of it they took off the other direction and that was the last time they ever saw the Indians over there at the Moravian church so you know whether you've got a bunch of Indians in your church or you've got a bunch of hooligans or whoever they are you know it's all about praise it's all about prayer it's all about being all in amen to that art we can't argue with you. This is sound <laughs> biblical logic. Folks, stick with us. We'll be right back after the break. You're listening to All In with Art Cardes. It's about everything. It's about war. It's about peace. It's about changing history. It's about you. It's about me. It's about time.
This is Sam Rohr of the American Pastors Network, and I want to invite you to listen to our new daily live call-in program, Stand in the Gap Today, each Monday through Friday at noon, right here on WFYL. There's never a shortage of topics surrounding how our faith and freedom are being attacked on every front. This program will equip Christians to stand up for truth and to impact our culture for Christ rather than just being an idle bystander. Join this battle for truth and listen to Stand in the Gap Today every Monday through Friday at noon, right here on WFYL. Here's Dan Celia with today's Stewardship Moment. We remember the story in Luke of the incredible obedience of Mary. She said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. You know, Mary understood that God, not her, but God had chosen her for this task. She had obviously always been one who considered herself a servant of the Lord. And she reminded the angel Gabriel that she understood that she was the maidservant of the Lord. What an incredible example of obedience. You've just heard a stewardship moment with Dan Celia of Financial Issues Ministry, helping you plan, give, and invest wisely. For more information, log on to financialissues.org. That's financialissues.org. This is Nancy J. Becker. As Montgomery County's Recorder of Deeds, I continually strive to take a proactive approach to find new revenue sources, reduce bureaucracy, and develop ways to make the office efficient, user-friendly, and save taxpayer dollars. Our office has contributed tens of millions of dollars to the general fund and saved taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our office is nationally recognized for our advanced technology. I am proud that the Veterans ID program that I instituted in 2012 has been recognized by Harvard. Our Veterans Photo ID program now provides discounts at over 500 businesses, helping over 6,000 veterans. If you elect me as your recorder of deeds, I will work tirelessly to make sure it continues and is expanded to further help the Montgomery County veterans who served our great nation. Please vote for me, Nancy J. Becker, for Montgomery County Recorder of Deeds when you go to the polls on Tuesday, November 3rd. Paid for by friends of Nancy J. Becker. Michael Becker, treasurer. Chances are there'll never be an emergency ever again. But just in case, let's talk about a plan. Okay. Who is going to grab the go bag? What's a go bag? It is a bag we do not have that is filled with things we really, really need in an emergency. Guess we won't have to worry about it then. Well, this is great. <laughs> I am so glad that we don't have a plan. I know. Winging it is not an emergency plan. Make sure your kids know what to do during an emergency. Who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Farther from the truth, without a star to lead us, we're all lost. Dancing with the devil, never looking at the clock. There'll be hell to pay on the day music stops. It's about time, it's about space, it's about saving the human Good morning and welcome back to It's a New Day. I'm so glad that you're with us. And Thursday, that means it's All In with Art Cardos. And Art, you want to give folks a, the phone number that they can call in to Yes, 877-667-1180. Please call in if you have a question or you Say, I don't know, but I believe all that stuff you're talking about, Art. That's okay. Call in anyway. You know, we'll talk about why to be all in. What's the opposite? Well, let's get all out. You know, and if you get enough of God out of you, uh, you know, well, there's nothing left. So, you know, that's the problem with this country today. Right now, we're seeing people just, just fighting to keep God in anything. It didn't used to be that way. We put God first, and the country prospered. You take God out, and well, what, is it a surprise that everywhere you turn, things aren't quite going right? So let's wake up to the world here, because this radio station and the people who are here, they believe in this country. They believe in what we're doing. Do you? Become a meaningful specific. Stop being a wandering generality. It's no time to be out there wandering around. It is time to take God's word, wake yourself up, shake yourself by the, by the ears if you have to, and say, is God's word is absolutely either true or it's a lie. Which is it? Choose life or death. So how can people locally can plug in to some of the things that are going on because prayer, and not all prayer is the same, and not all 
places you go to pray are the same. But uh, I know you have something going on that uh, people can plug into locally. That's right. And, uh, folks, uh, WFYL is teaming up with Ken Seller of Bucksmont pa- Praying Patriots. They're starting a chapter in the Valley Forge area here. And we begin next Friday, October 30th at noon and we're meeting at K&J Diner right on Main Street maybe an eighth of a mile uh, here from the station and uh, we're getting down on to the business of praying we're not you know it's great to have friends and meet and socialize but that is the agenda prayer first everything else second if you don't start your day in prayer if you don't pray I, I personally i don't know how you don't how you do it I, I can't not start with the word of god um you know another thing for local business people you know listen if you need your business to increase and and i like to use the word double and everybody gets all upset you can't say it's gonna double ah come on yes i can and 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 here's how that works okay because god's word says it can so there is an organization, it's called BIB, Believers in Business. You can go to BIBnetwork.org and you can check it out. There's chapters in Lansdale, there's chapter in Quakertown, Allentown, and Bethlehem right now, and soon to be uh, some in the Midwest. So, you know, as we think about how do you plug in, as a businessman, I would plug in and I would plug in with people who understand business and want to expect a miracle for me. Now, it's one thing, you got to deal with the world's circumstances, but you know, with the wisdom of God, you know, we can, we'll know what decisions to make. So we want to pray first, pray first. And who do you pray with? And who do you agree with? And when two or more agree as to touching anything, it shall be done. Now, eh, maybe we'll see if it gets done. Oh, could it really happen? Oh, I don't know. Come on. It shall be done. Do you believe that? Come on, get all in. It's time for you to throw it all in for the Lord. You'd be surprised if you take an attitude that says, you know what, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to take God's word and I'm going to absolutely believe God's going to do something for me. You're going to be shocked because he's willing, able, and ready and waiting for you. And at one point that I wanted to bring in here, Kim, was about angels because you know whether you're a church wondering if it's safe or whether you are on a highway walking across the street or anywhere else god has assigned his angels he has put his angels in the earth but they are bound and cannot do anything unless they're released uh through god's word okay god's word is what makes that all happen okay so if you don't put God's word in there. Angels can't just go off on their own. They're, they're legally bound by the word of God. And, and since we as individuals, okay, have not um, uh, always invoked the word of God around ourselves, they, they might be right next to you, but they're just sitting there and they cannot do anything. They're waiting for you to say, I am redeemed from the curse oh, what's the curse? I am redeemed from the curse that's attached to the breaking of the law. I'm redeemed. The good news, when Jesus came, I bring you good news. What's the good news? You're redeemed. He's not holding you accountable. He's not holding you, pushing you down. You know, and, and I know people still feel that way. They feel what they feel maybe that, you know, I'm not worthy. Do you ever run into people like that? Yeah, the enemy uh, sits on the shoulder and whispers those lies in our ears. He does. So you have to choose which one to listen to. And we're going to listen to the guy saying, "Uh, you're not worthy. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the Bible tells us we have been redeemed from the curse that's attached to the law. How do we get redeemed? We accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And in that moment of receiving him, the price was paid. God said, price paid. Now, you can go through the rest of your life pretending it's not paid. And a good example of that is let's go to, we go to a diner, right? And I see you sitting over there, and, uh, and I'm in the diner, and I go over and I say to the waitress, I say, I'll give me the bill. I'm paying for, for Kim's dinner tonight, right? And so I pay for it, and I leave, right? And you don't know that. So all of a sudden, you come out, and they say, hey, nope, no problem. The bill's paid. And you go, well, I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, well, does Great it matter? illustration, Art. doesn't matter if you don't believe it. The price has been paid. Now, you could pay it again, but now you're double paying. So why would you want to pay them twice if the bill's already paid? So when God says he's redeemed me and paid the price, 
I take that pretty seriously. When I get to the counter where the ca- checkout is, I just go, hey, I've been paid for. I'm, I'm, I'm a child of God, and I am redeemed mm. from the curse mm. that's attached to the breaking of the law. For poverty, I've been given wealth. For sickness, I've been given health. And for death, whoa, eternal I've been given life. eternal life. So what happens in the worst case scenario? Eternal life. But we're here, and there's no reason to get out early. We have lots to do. And if someone's listening to this, I want you to be encouraged that God has a plan for you from the time you were born, before you were born. He foreknew you, and he has a plan right now. He wants you to wake up today and and acknowledge the fact that he has a plan, and then seek in yourself, what is that plan? What do you need? What do you want for me today? And that uh, will change your life forever, because God will answer. Art, can I remind our listeners about where Believers in Business meets in Montgomery sure. County? go ahead. It's uh, at uh, Park Place Restaurant on Sumney Town Pike in Lansdale. And um, they meet at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, the last meeting was yesterday, so the next one will be November 4th. For more information, one of the leaders you can contact is Laurie Kane. Uh, she's a Christian career coach. Find hope for today dot com, 267-640-5094. As I myself attended, I would strongly suggest that uh, you make a point to do so yourself, folks. It's well worth it. Prayer throughout the meeting, encouraging. Well, and, and it's a networking meeting. So you get to talk about what you do. You get 30 seconds, and we have speakers. Uh, you know, you, you'll, you'll become a speaker, and you will, you'll meet a lot of great people there. Kim, you know, that's one of the places that we have been able to see through prayer businesses really moving forward i mean i remember when people came in and i and i go to these meetings and i i was there and i said you know we can double your bit the lord will double your business oh boy and now they're coming back with a lot of testimonials and all of a sudden it's like wow you know i think my business almost doubled this year really (laughs) almost what do you what's what'd you do wrong You prayed. I told you about that. Yeah, that praying <laughs> stuff, you know, and, and, and leaving people. I don't know how much time we got. We're out of time, right? Yeah. But, oh, but, my goodness. but we are anointed by the Lord with the same anointing that he has. We'll talk about that next time. Yes, indeed. It's exciting. Yes. Thank you for joining us, folks. Have a great day. Remember to be all in. It's about war. It's about peace. It's about changing history. It's about you. It's about me. It's about time. Today's competitive business climate. Through our mobile marketing campaigns, you are best armed to retain customers and increase profitability and lifetime value while reducing turnover. Mobile coupons can be as simple as sending a special code to your mobile subscribers. That can be used on your e-commerce website or as complex as integration in your point-of-sale retail system. No matter how they are delivered, coupons are highly valued messages that build your brand and increase sales. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Join me, your host, Art Cardos, for a special segment of It's a New Day called All In. Every Thursday from 8 to 9 a.m. here on WFYL 1180 a.m. Do you believe God wants you to prosper at home, in business, socially, and financially? You can't separate your faith from who you are and what you do. We will be discussing that and more on a live call-in show called All In. So join me every Thursday from 8 to 9 a.m. here on WFYL.